guys, it's Kendra Mitchell here from the Gilson Cincinnati office. I'm going to be showing you some of the features from the Siemens LR250 today. It's a continuous level transmitter that uses pulse radar technology. It gives a 4 to 20 milliamp output and is heart smart. It takes 24 volts DC and is two wire loop powered, which makes for a very simple installation. Let's take a look at the unit we have installed here at the Flow Lab. You can see it at the top of this 1,500 gallon tank. We'll turn on the pumps and watch it respond. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the pumps. Now we're looking at the top two right side measurements. Those are our two level transmitters that are in the same tank. You can see they're reading within a couple tenths of an inch of each other. We also have a third level measurement in that tank. If we go over to the Siemens Hydro Ranger 200, you'll see it's reading about the same as well. In the past, you may have had issues with a turbulent or agitated surface. The LR250 will erase these issues. What we're going to do here is we're going to simulate that by putting aeration into the tank. You can see the tank filling with air. Now let's take a look at the display to see a steady reading. You can see the agitated surface has little to no effect. The maximum error of this unit is 5 millimeters, or 0.2 inches, making this our most accurate level transmitter. Unlike ultrasonic technologies, pulse radar units do not have problems with false level signals. This tank contains water at ambient temperatures. You would see these same results if this were an application with higher temperatures, causing condensation in inside the tank, or a tank containing another chemical with heavy vapors. This is due to our dynamic threshold, which adjusts automatically to changing conditions in the vessel, such as condensation and vapors. Here's a look at our signal in the tank now. It has a high dB rating, and the threshold hovers low over the noise. Now I'm going to spray water on the inside of the horn to represent condensation buildup. Now we're going to take a level measurement and look at the echo profile. You can see how the dynamic threshold moves up so that the condensation does not affect the signal. Siemens is the only radar manufacturer on the market that can make changes to the threshold based on process conditions. In this example, changes in condensation buildup. If this tank had obstructions inside of it, such as chains, ladders, or agitators, they could be mapped out by activating the auto false echo suppression. This unit could also be used on extreme process conditions as it is rated to a temperature of 302 degrees F and a pressure of 588 PSI. Our horn helps to concentrate this signal, giving us a smaller beam spread than a lot of your other non-contacting level technologies. With different flange and horn sizes available, our customers can use existing openings and mounting locations. The high frequency allows us to install this unit recessed up in a nozzle without affecting the signal strength. The small dead band allows us to measure up to two inches from the bottom of the horn. The unit can be programmed one of two ways, either with a handheld or with heart. The new Louis display offers a quick start option so that you can just answer a few short questions with the handheld. In this instance, we used heart, and in particular, we used Siemens PDM heart software on our laptop. That way, we didn't have to climb back to the top of the tank to do our programming. Siemens Heart uh, PDM software also has a quick start option. The LR250 unit was made for liquid applications. Siemens has several other radar models to fit your liquid or bulk solids measuring needs. Contact your local Gilson sales rep for a second look at the Siemens LR250.